All right, I know it's officially after 12 p.m., so the legal tampering period is here. But in a move that the Cincinnati Bengals made uh, days ago was placing the franchise tag on wide receiver T. Higgins. And when you place the franchise tag on a player, then they can start tampering a while back. Uh, but with T. Higgins, um, with him being franchise tagged, this, this could go a couple of different ways for the Cincinnati Bengals. Uh, T. Higgins is nice. T. Higgins is a number one wide receiver. T. Higgins is a baller. I know he's dealt with some injuries uh, recently. Uh, and I know Jamal Chase, he dealt with some injuries recently too. But uh, T. Higgins is not – both of them are obviously nice. Both of them can play some football. And with the Bengals, uh, I always felt – I think most people always felt like when it came to paying both T. Higgins and Jamal Chase, not that it's impossible. It is possible. And there's ways to work around the salary cap and whatnot. But – Figured a lot of us felt like it was highly unlikely that both of them end up getting their bread from Cincinnati. Again, it's still possible. It can still happen. But I just I don't think it's likely. And we all kind of all got the vibe that the priority would be on them paying Jamar Chase uh, instead of T. Higgins. Uh, Jamar Chase was, I think, what is he, number four overall pick. And just because he was drafted that high doesn't mean that he would automatically be the priority. But it just seems like. He would be the priority uh, in Cincinnati. Um, but with T. Higgins getting franchise tag, like I said, this could go a couple of different ways. Him being franchise tag does not mean it's over. Him, But him requesting a trade, it's like, ooh, oh, he, he requested a trade. He wants out from Cincinnati. Ooh. But that also does not mean that it's over. We've seen this happen uh, in the past with so many different players. They get franchise tag. Fr players don't like being franchise tag. They want long-term deals. And if they can't get a long-term deal from their current team, then it's a business move. That's it. It's just a business move. This is letting the Bengals know like, hey, let's get a long term deal done. If y'all don't want to get a long term deal done with me, let me go somewhere where somebody will get a long term deal done with me because I want my bread. Staying in the AFC North, we saw this just last year with Lamar Jackson. The Baltimore Ravens placed a franchise tag on Lamar Jackson and Lamar Jackson put out that series of tweets that thread like, hey, I requested to be traded like 20 something days ago and they haven't honored my request. I'm requesting a trade again. And it was like, oh my goodness, not Lamar Jackson. So we saw how that worked out. A deal was done. Now with T. Higgins, again, it's a bit different because with the Baltimore Ravens, there wasn't no other quarterback for them to turn to. Uh, with the Cincinnati Bengals, Again, I think the priority is Jamar Chase as far as deals getting done. Now, you can't rule out, because Bengals got some money to, to play with, you can't rule out him playing on a tag. Because if the Bengals feel like, you know what, we don't want to trade him, then he could end up playing on a franchise tag this year, and then next year he could end up being a free agent um, if the Bengals chose not to tag him two years in a row. Uh, and then, yeah, he can go on elsewhere after that. And at this point, I'm not sure about any other receivers who will be entering free agency at that time, but he would be one of the top free agents available next year. Uh, if he plays on a franchise tag and they let him walk next year. So that's something to think about. But, you know, Bengals, like, they they don't want to go the comp pick route for T. Higgins. And what I mean when I say that is if he were to walk in free agency, Bengals would get a compensatory pick the following year. You know they don't want to do that. They they, they don't want to do that for sure. So that's what the franchise tag is all about, man. It, it's just a, it's an ugly side of business for the players uh, it does give the franchises, the teams, a whole lot of control that I know the players just get so frustrated with. And I'm sure T. Higgins is super frustrated right now uh, with the Cincinnati Bengals because he wants his bread. Like any of us would want our bread. Like think about that. Put ourselves in, in, in players' shoes. If we had spent four years with a company and we would do for a big raise and we knew that there were a lot of other companies that would hire us like that and they would give us a big raise like that. But the company that we worked for, they said, oh, no, oh, oh, you think you're getting ready to go to one of those other companies for free without us getting anything? Uh, no, you ain't going nowhere. Now, you will get this year, you will get a significant raise from us, but it'll, it'll only be for this year. And that's it. It won't be for the following year. And I know when we get raises at our regular jobs, it is it goes into effect right then and there. So saying that to for us with regular jobs, it's like, oh, okay, cool. That doesn't sound so bad. But in the NFL, we know it's a lot different because it's only for one year and one year only. Then after that, who knows what it'll be. 
So we'll see what happens with T. Higgins. Uh, like I always say, subscribe to the channel, turn your notifications on because today it's starting off a bit slow, but once it picks up, y'all already know how it goes with NFL free agency. Leave a like on the video because it helps out the channel a lot and it'll allow you to keep on getting recommended to this channel if you like it, of course. I love y'all, team. Keep it clean. I appreciate y'all. And like T. Higgins requested to the Bengals to be, we out.